What you doing in here? What? Where? Can I see? Show me. Huh. Look at that. One tiny, lonely, isolated little gray hair. Actually, I think it's more white than gray. How did you spot that? Mm-hmm. I know you better than that. You were looking for it. Yes, you were. Because your birthday is next week. I know because I do the same thing, Goober. Anytime I feel at all like time is getting away from me or I just feel worn out and down on myself, I look for gray hairs and wrinkles and all that good stuff. And of course, standing here in the bathroom under the not very flattering light, I can find a lot of age-related flaws. Of course I can, they're there. Although to be fair, I found my first gray hair at the age of 13, so maybe I'm not the best example. <laughs> Seriously though, I do get why this would bother you. Of course, your feelings are valid. I don't want to minimize them. But I also don't want you to go down a spiral of feeling like you look old or something. So can I tell you a couple things? Okay. For starters, you look incredible. Shh, no interrupting. You are hot as all hell. I actually think you may be hotter now than when I met you, which is kind of unfair. <laughs> I mean it. I never get tired of looking at you. It makes me smile just thinking about looking at you. One gray hair doesn't change that. Hell, a whole head of gray hair wouldn't change that. Something tells me you'll look pretty amazing if that happens. I'm serious. But if you don't want to get to that point, you know you can do whatever makes you the happiest with your hair. Because as nice as your hair is, what matters most to me is you. Okay, but here's the thing. Aging is just part of how this goes. You are still you at any age. You have the same sense of humor, the same infectious laugh, the same beautiful eyes. You're always you. I fell in love with you, the whole package. I mean, yes, you're hot, but that's not the main thing I love about you. And the older we get, the more I love you. Being with you means getting to go through life with you. The ups, the downs, the smiles, and the gray hairs. Hey, for all I know, I caused that gray hair for you. <laughs> But you should know how lucky I feel, because I get to be with you. I get to grow old right alongside you, my favorite person in the world. I get to hold your hand as we both get gray and wrinkly. We're both on this path and we're on it together. No, I wouldn't say I'm happy about aging. Let me see if I can explain this. I know as a society, we aren't very good about growing old. Even though, frankly, it's better than the alternative. We put way too much emphasis on looks and not as much on the entire person. And I know aging can also be scary. Like, we know that life has an eventual end. We know that academically. But it's easier not to think about that when you're young and full of energy. It's tougher when you're seeing gray hairs or when your joints crackle a bit getting out of bed in the mornings. Staring down our own mortality isn't usually a fun thought. So yeah, things like gray hairs, milestone birthdays, longer hangovers, they're all a reminder that the clock is ticking. But here's the part I try to hold on to. We can't change the passage of time. We can't turn back the clock. We can take steps to look younger, and we can take care of ourselves as best we can along the way, which is a good idea. But in the end, if we're lucky, we'll end up reaching an old age and everything that comes with it. So if we can't escape it, we might as well make the most of it. I try to focus on time being less of an enemy and more of a gift. I'm here right now with you. I'm spending my life exactly where I want to be, with you. You are the most amazing person I've ever met, inside and out. You're a gorgeous person with a gorgeous soul. And every gray hair and wrinkle and crackly joint should be a point of pride. You're here with me, the two of us against whatever comes our way. And we're lucky enough to get to spend so much time together. I'm grateful for every minute I get with you. All of you. That little white hair is the cutest thing I've ever seen, and it's because it's part of you. 
It's a symbol of how much time we've been together and how much further we get to go, if we're lucky. It makes me think about a future of long walks and long cuddles and falling asleep on the couch against your shoulder. It makes me so happy to think of spending my life with you. Oh, I definitely have my insecure moments. I know I don't look quite the way I used to. I know I won't ever be as young again as I am right now. And I have days when I wonder why the hell you're with me, when you could be with someone younger and hotter and just better, you know? But then I think about how it feels when you say you love me. And I believe you when you tell me I look good. Because if loving you, for me, is about more than just your looks, I have to allow that it works that way for you, too. You love me for more than just my appearance. I know. So you have to accept that it goes the other way, too. And frankly, I hope I get as old as possible. I hope I'm a crabby old lady someday, shaking my fist at the kids on our lawn. And then I'll come inside, and you'll tell me to have a seat, and you'll hold my wrinkly old hand in yours, and I'll look into your eyes and see our life together. And I'll smile just like I'm smiling right now. Because I love you, and no amount of gray hairs will change who we are. Okay? Yeah, that was more than I really expected to say, sorry. (laughs) So, what will you do with it? You want to pull it out? That's up to you. I won't care either way. Okay, then. I love you, sweetness. Every last bit of you.